Yeah! Bye, Chaos! Bye, Wizard! Alright! So everybody get excited! Let's go ahead and reveal the next GM! It's Royal Blue Wizard! <laughs> RBW, come join! <laughs> Hello! What did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> Not much! You're the next person! Choose it! <laughs> Oh, okay, well, I'm ready for the game reveal, if you are. What do we have? Absolutely. So, we have uh, what would be a really great game if it weren't the game that it actually is. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about uh, an entry in the Fantastic Se Run and Gun series, Metal Slug. We have oh, Metal yeah. Slug X for the Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color. Everybody loves the Game Boy Color. It only has the best of video games. Uh, I actually have played a few good Game Boy Color games, but the bad ones are bad. Well, this is totally a bootleg, so... Oh, it's a bootleg? Yep. Oh it's my by, gosh. Um... Yeah. I'm so excited. I love boots, and I love legs. Put them together, you get a bootleg. It's by Syntax, makers of other fantastic bootleg titles. Oh, of course it's Syntax. Why wouldn't it be, you know? Oh, you know what? I, I love Syntax in a way. I mean, they did do that wonderful Spider-Man 3 game we uh, saw very recently. Oh, yeah. And I believe last Cusa Grande, we also had Donkey Kong 5, The Journey of Overtime in Space. It was at least in a GDQ, you're correct. I like the Spider-Man bootleg, the one with one cutscene. And it's all about desire. That's all it's about. <laughs> Those damn desire. Oh, the diversified. You can't forget how diverse they were. Well... You know what, we'll find out if there is any desire in this game. My inkling is that there will not be. But I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, well, do, do you like bootlegs? Have you played a lot of bootlegs yourself? Uh... Not too many bootlegs in general. Uh, I leave bootlegs to the experts. The experts. Uh, some of our GMs are much better at finding, playing, and distributing bootleg. I mean, like, how can we, uh, how can we have any complaints about the brilliance that is Final Fantasy VII NES? Uh, so. that was a fun game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII NES, yeah, I love that part of it was just make sure you save as much as possible going through the softlock area because you will softlock about 50 times. They're all softlock areas. I'm really glad we had it, though. It's, yeah, it's bad. Ah, well... All right, so let's see how our uh, players are going to do with this wonderful game. Yeah, uh, question. Is this still a running gun? Did they stay true to the genre? It's, it's more platform heavy than uh, most of Metal Slug, but yes, it is still a running gun. Okay. There are still uh, weapons you can pick up, which are nice power-ups. Uh, but unlike the arcade games, it's not one-hit kills. It's more like the uh, Game Boy Advance titles, where you have a life bar. Okay. I have never played a Metal Slug game. I don't know if I should say that, but I feel like I need to. I'm sure that you'll uh, rise to the occasion upon watching exactly what happens. Oh boy. Okay, good, good. You know, I need something to win me over to play good games on occasion, so please do that today, all of you video gamers. Oh, by the way, who's doing audio for us for this game? Burninator volunteered. Burninator, good. 
Solid name. I appreciate Bruninating. Let me go ahead and make that change. So, what has been going on in your life? Anything exciting recently? Well, I did rather foolishly volunteer to go do commentary on a uh, rather lousy NES game about Tom Sawyer, and uh, the conversation went oh, wild places. I'm sorry! I can't help it. My yeah, mouth off, get does out of chat. things and I get upset. Yagamoth, get out of chat. Wait, who's in chat? Yagamoth. Yagamoth! Yagamoth, we're going to banish you right now because we're going to talk about the game. Because it's almost game time, everybody. That's right. Four players going to go up against each other. It's normally not to the death, but I'm happy to make an exception if needed. Urgh. If they're listening, we'll make an exception. There Please we go. Hello, slow beef, slow beef. Clocking in to give us a little bit of a show before the show. That's right, because we've got Cusa Grande and this Metal Slug X. Yep, Metal Slug X. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting some clarification here, uh, just so that everybody knows what's going on. Let me do one last check just to 100% make sure that the streams are in the correct places. I don't want to be dumb. I've never- I haven't messed it up, but I'm always paranoid. Trisden. Wait, what? I'm always- you're not Trisden. You sort of sound like Trisden. A little bit. Oh no, I'm turning into Corn Dan. <laughs> no, but you sound more, er, you sound less like Corn Dan than Trisden. Uh, well, at least now I, uh, know where I stand on the sounds like Trisden scale. Yeah, you're pretty like Trisden, but not similar to Corn. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, everybody, I think Trisden just has that type of voice that sounds like the every man, you know, every person. Hey, hey! It is time for us to begin. Chat, I'm going to ask you, spam grenades, gr spam bullets, spam weaponry of any type. Go ahead and spam muscles as well. There are a lot of muscles in this game. Uh, any other slug, if you have, like, snails, that works too. Uh, just go ahead and get stuff in chat because we're just about to roll. As soon as I see the first person move in a stage, I will start our timer. Oh, no. Oh, no. So for those of you who actually uh, know the Metal Slug series, this game stars Trevor, a uh, character added to Metal Slug 4 who is then promptly ignored uh, uh, afterwards. Um, also, I hope you are all enjoying the music. You're probably going to hear it a bunch. This is not okay music. Like, this is way too happy for Metal Slug. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and things you can I can roll say. up? Yep. Is that helpful? Not really. Okay. Just Taking lessons from oh, Sam. Oh, slow beef! That knockback is brutal. Oh yes, my Yes, yes it is. The knockback is what makes this game truly Kusoge. I feel so sad. Oh hey, Yagamoth figured out how to look down. Oh, how do you look down? You press select. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, pressing down does nothing, but uh, pressing select, it removes your uh, health bar, it removes the HUD, and so as a result, you can actually see jumps and things. Oh, that so, would be uh, nice. Thanks, Game Boy. Because, you know, it has enough buttons, so Look, we're just gonna go and make select something. Don't blame the Game Boy. Blame... Syntax. Fair enough. Yeah, it's all Syntax's fault. I usually like their bootlegs. But I this mean, one has given me tears already. I mean, this this game just keeps getting more uh, difficult. Wait, Most important. I think what? I actually have this bootleg. Let me take a look. Uh, what's the name in Chinese? Since it's probably in Chinese. Uh, it is uh, Yunnan Zhanyi Zhanyi X. Uh, yeah, I own. I have this. I have this on my computer. Of course I do. Of course you do. Hey, it looks like Yagamoth is on to stage two. Very nice. Yep. So, as I was saying, the uh, most important technique, as, as far as I can tell, is uh, knowing how to uh, farm lives. Because there's no continues. Oh, yeah, not having continues is definitely going to be rough. They'll discover that over the next several minutes that, you know, run out of lives and you have to go to the beginning of the game. I think Yagamoth will probably be the first one for that to hit home really hard. Well, he does have three lives, which is more than uh, anyone else. Because the other thing is this game is pretty generous with dropping lives. You know what, I'm taking a look, and there are logs in this level that Yagamoth's on that look like some of those chocolate Swiss rolls. <laughs> and uh, let me just say, those are not healthy for you, but they are absolutely fantastic. I will definitely take your word for it. They're so good. I want one of the Swiss rolls. Bye, Hackstralian, have a good time. Yeah, I'm, have, I'm making everybody want Swiss rolls. Have a good night, Hextralian. Al Opex, because Samus gives lessons, apparently. The question was, why does this guy have Morph Ball? He's just... I don't know, he's like that. Uh, Trevor uh, Trevor needed to do something while he was completely forgotten by uh, SNK. The Agamoth is on to level 3. Well, you know, SNK really should forget most of their characters. <laughs> Oh, that's not true. Oh, they had Athena. They can... I don't know. They're dead to me. <laughs> wow. I guess. Alright, so these funny spiked balls on Yaga's screen uh, take something like 30 shots to kill. Are you serious? Do you have yep. to kill them? No. But if but you're not going to be able to get drops otherwise, and uh, good luck with that. They also ignore walls. Oh! Completely. And the ball just killed Yagamoth. Yep. Nothing. Mike, here's the deal. I grew up in a small town. And I know nothing I've, about Neo Geo, so. I have half a mind to force Bro to play Card Fighters Clash just so that uh, you'll at least recognize some of the SNK characters. I need to buy what do you the think about SN this, Mike? I need to get the SNK collection. Ah, uh, that works too. But that's mostly uh, older arcade titles and uh, NES titles. But it has Crystalis. It's always good. Yeah, I do. Ha I think I have Crystalis already. Yeah, I do. And I've never played it. Don't talk. I'm not sure there is a rocket lawn chair, but if there is, you know, it'll be a random drop like everything else. Oh! It turns out that you do not get iframes on spikes. Even if you're not. damaged, spikes will instantly kill you. And yes, Claire, it does indeed, as Carolyn stated. Dragon Lord Carter, we do not talk about Dallas for uh, Game Boy Color. It just, it doesn't exist. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Cadus is correct. This is this game is indeed based on a Mega Man bootleg. Okay. I mean, uh, it looked like it a little bit. Uh, it'll be even more apparent if, uh, if someone manages to get to the final boss. 
but yes, okay. this is a ROM hack slash edit of Rock Hero Legend 3. Rock Hero Legend 3. Do you think we're going to see the final boss, by the way? I really don't know. The, uh... La the limited, limited lives and the fact that a lot of level 3 is trial and error until you know where all of the evil spiked balls are. It's gonna be, uh, uh, it's gonna be rough times. Okay, it looks like enemies will randomly drop one-ups, so you yep. may wish to just grind early on for some lives. That, hey. is, that is the strategy in my book. It looks like most players have moved on to at least level 2. Slow Beef is almost there. Yeah, this is definitely level select music from Mega Man. No, Slow Beef! Oh, oh to go uh, with zero lives. Oh, that's not gonna help. Yaga's made it to level four. See, that nice. crab enemy's totally from Metal Slug. Like what? And yes. Uh, what was that? Like what that, enemies that, from Metal Slug? That that crab monster, also this funny-looking turret. Ah. Good. And yes, as stated, the entire uh, game is just Mega Man 2 music. Oh, Yagamoth got Mario'd just there. Oh boy. Doom Ranger uh, Rex is going to have Doom Ranger EX is gonna have some uh rough times here because this level really just has way too many blind jumps. Hey, Burninator on to the next stage, and there goes Doom Ranger into the spikes. Yep. I think Yagamoth's the only one who's figured out which button does the look down. I think so. And honestly, I guess I'm not too surprised. Most people, especially when they jump into a game, do not even think of select unless it's obvious. Well, like, I did tell all the players that there was a way to look down, so this is on them. Slow beef is game over. It's not so much of a huge deal at this point, honestly, because we're in the first 10 minutes. I expect others to get game over and go back to the first stage as well. Well, thank you for uh, catching that, Joey Gator. And, uh, Cadis, the bottom bar is special weapon energy if you pick up a special weapon. And I do not remember what the uh, bar on the right is. I don't know. Yagamoth is game over and back to the beginning. Everybody should be aware at this point that a game over means that you have no continues. So hopefully they'll be thinking about that. Definitely. Uh, I think you might be right, Anya. But could be boss life. It could possibly be boss life, but I haven't even seen the boss. I mean, this game is, I believe, nine stages long. I'm pretty sure bosses show up only in the last few stages. Ah. But yeah, I believe the uh, best strategy is... Oh, there goes Yagamoth getting knocked off into a pit. I believe the best strategy is trying to get as many uh, enemy kills as possible to rack up lives and then uh, using that to make progress. I think that's probably a good idea. Okay. Slow Beef is on to the pits. These pits have been extremely difficult to get past. You have pretty precise platforming, as well as just tanking damage to not fall into them. Sorry? Oh. The... The jumps are fairly precise, and then you have to tank damage to hopefully not fall into the pit. Slow beat, first time on stage two, very nice. I think, again, it's really helpful if you can see where the uh, jumps need to be, but that's really on the players to figure out that select lets you look down. Yep. And if you told them how to do it, 
Or, if you told them that it's possible, they can figure it out. I trust them. Yeah, I, I trust them too. I'm sure they'll be able to figure it out. Ah, so we're 11 minutes into this, and somehow I actually kind of like the music. But not as much as Tom Sawyer. And I didn't really like that music. And I didn't like Tom oh. Sawyer as much as the first game, which had no music. I We've mean, just had a just lot of Grand Two music. Yeah, but it's so slow. Fair enough. And then, like, stage three has music that doesn't even make any sense. It's like... Wow, four lives. Yaga's really, uh, farbing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Yaga has the right idea here. Uh, cookies are yum. As far as I can tell, no. Much like Metal Slug, you have one active weapon. And if it's a special weapon, you use it until the ammo runs out. Otherwise, you have your pea shooter. Yeah, so the question was, can you switch weapons? And it appears that you just have this pistol until you pick something up. I have lives for Yaga. That's a lot. The, the chain gun, which appears to literally shoot a chain, I kind of <laughs> like it. Yeah, I do too. It, it does a lot of damage. It's a rather uh, entertaining. I also don't really understand why the uh, health restores look like batteries, but whatever. Well, it's Mega Man, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not Fair Me it, it's not Mega Man, but it is. Slow beef, getting some good progress here. Doom Ranger back to the first stage. Yeah, I think we're gonna see people going back to the first stage fairly often, especially early on. But they'll need to get one good push in order to make progress. Hey, Slowbeef has figured out how to look down. All right, go That's Slowbeef. That's huge. I mean, it feels like it shouldn't be, but it's a bootleg game. It's true. Every advantage matters. Oh, yeah. And honestly, bootleg games are just notorious for having all of the worst mechanics together. I'm not sure if it's because they didn't care, because they put a lot of work in a lot of these. But, I mean, I, I'd say they just don't know good design. I mean, syntax is... syntax is syntax. They have some good ideas, they know how to take existing uh, material and rework it in interesting ways. It's just that... I, their design priorities, I don't understand them at all. Yeah, but to be fair, until, like, at least the mid-2000s, game design was kind of avant-garde anyway. Wait, you mean it's not still avant-garde? I mean, much less so. They're, like, standards. If you're doing a platform, you don't ha platformer, you don't have blind jumps. That's a standard. I will keep this in mind when I, uh, develop bootleg games. Oh, you're gonna make bootleg games? Probably Aww. not, but if I do, I have to make sure that they follow the Brosentia standards. I have standards in my bootlegs. Oh no, Fishura, uh, has heard what I said. I better run. Uh-oh. I would play your bootlegs. Well, I guess I better, uh, find something terrible to ROM hack. I completely support making bootlegs. I don't necessarily endorse selling them. There's a, I mean, that's fair. There, There's a big difference. If you rip off stuff... Like, whatever, Barkley's Shut Up and Jam Gaiden is one of the best quote-unquote bootleg games out there. It's so much fun. I mean, I'd argue that it it's a bootleg. Oh, yeah, very much so. But I mean, if we're a lot of RPG Maker games, this would make it a lot easier for me. Oh yeah. 
Anya, that is very disturbing. Yeah, I do like Bootleg Chrono Trigger. It's got its own charm. And you know, you don't necessarily have to have the most original assets to make something fun. Just, you have to have them be either purchased or original in order to make money off of your fun idea. Ah, this is true. I don't know, if I ever get around to making some sort of bootleg game, I would, uh, definitely make sure that the totally not real boss from the totally not real version of Bioforce Ape shows up in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because you have to kill something that's made of dirt butter. That's what? Made of dirt butter. Okay. Do you not know this? So. No. Bio Force Ape, as was uh, may be known, was never fully released. The prototype, in theory, existed, but no one ever managed to find one. Okay. So, a uh, forum dedicated to. Um, you know, finding prototypes and uh, otherwise unreleased games, uh, had someone claim that they had found a copy of Bioforce Ape. And it's 2K monies. And, uh, and what happened was that the, they, po they posted fake screenshots to have a weird butter monster that proclaims, Yeah, I am made of their butter and I am worth 2K monies. Uh, the follow-up scene is a uh, fist uh, smashing it, proclaiming, EAT COMMUNISM! <laughs> and so, this, uh, this of course was all fake, but it is part of the legend that is Bioforce Ape now. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So, if I do make a bootleg, I must, uh, include the, uh, boss made of dirt butter. Okay, I'm, I'm just seeing if I can find more information about this. It's Bioforce Ape. Almacia posted Bio. the GIF of the two images. Okay, let me open it up and not accidentally open up covering the other streams. No! Poor Dirt Butter. Well, that's what he gets for, uh, Making the stick, making the case of 2K monies. It's a lot. 2K. Yeah. The, By uh, the way, Yagamoth is still definitely in the lead at this point. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't believe Yagamoth has gotten back to level four yet, but level three is real killer. The other fun thing about this story is that when they finally did get a prototype of Bioforce Ape, it costed something like $1,970. To which everyone on the forum shouted, It really is worth 2k monies! Oh my gosh! I love it. Back to level 4 for Yaga. Yeah, Yaga is doing a pretty dang good job of getting back where he was. He's always been a strong contender, though. Honestly, all of the players here, I, I believe this is, correct me if I'm wrong, a uh, second place or first place match? Second place match. The uh, previous match, the one that you did, was a first place match. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they all took second place, uh, and they all did a fantastic job, and now it's really sort of seeing who of the second place uh, people is going to manage to take the victory here. Who's the best of second place? Well, right now it looks like it's Yagamoth, but... It's oh, you have to roll today. up to go under the floor! Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. You said it had no use. Tactically, no, but... Well, okay. Oh, this music, Burninator. Why? By the way, everybody has made it to stage three, except for Slow Beef and Doom Ranger has a disadvantage. The disadvantage is he doesn't quite know how to look down yet. 
Yep. So even though he's made more progress, that's going to set him back for quite a while. Hopefully he'll figure it out shortly. Wow. Yeah, this music is barely acceptable. Wait, this is boss music from Mega Man 2 slowed down? Oh yeah, I could see that. It's pretty bad. Yagamoth has... cannot take a single hit, so he's very carefully inching forward. Oh, and Yagamoth just got a little bit of health. Unfortunately, couldn't really see the next jump. Okay, Burninator is definitely past where Doom Ranger X has gotten. Uh, by just a, about one room, is what I'd say. Yeah, looks like it. And Yagamoth is onto really a boss! That's All right. Quick Man. No! Or is it Ring Man? Yeah. What is it? Someone who teleports and throws rings. Oh, it's Metal Man. Okay, good. It's not Quick Man. No, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be Quick Man, but I'm not even sure if that qualifies as Metal Man. Yeah, but Metal Man's, uh... Saw blades don't boomerang back. Eh. Are you oh, well. sure? Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Middle Man is my uh, favorite robot master in Mega Man 2. Aww. I always liked Bubble Man, but I don't like him anymore. Why not? I don't know. I think I outgrew my love of Bubble Man. Ah, poor Bubble Man. Yeah. With okay. your, uh, yes. I, I'm just trying to remember all the all the men in that one, all the all the robot masters. You got quick, flash, metal, wood, uh, heat, bubble, crash, and um, forgetting one. Oh, Woodman, I think that's my favorite. Alright. Uh... <laughs> we have four Mega Man 2 bosses and four Mega Man 3 bosses. I really loved Mega Man 3. Like, that was a bunch of my childhood. So Slow Beef apparently is having trouble with jumping, but I'm not seeing, uh, it, I'm not seeing any more difficult, any more difficulty than anyone else is having. The game is just very janky. It's very difficult to actually get a jump to go off. I mean, you pretty much have to commit. Uh, especially when if you get hit by enemies, your iframes are barely existent. Alright, Yaga's going back in. Oh, jeez. I think he's got it. Nice! Alright, Yaga. Yeah, this is definitely Mega Man. Oh, I love Airman. Airman is another fantastic robot from 2. I'd say it's almost a tie between him and Woodman. For my favorites. Fair enough. Snake Man for Mega Man 3, though, was the best. Uh, Yagamoth is up to stage 5 out of 9. Three lives, so he's really just mowing through everything. Yeah, I uh, don't know if we'll see a game clear, but if there is a chance, Yagamoth may be in the best spot to possibly do that, yeah. Yep. Slow Beef's got four lives, so... 
he's uh, careful with his jumping, he should be okay. That was one death. Unfortunately, the knockback oh. in this game is so rude. It's true, and the, uh, the uh, distinct lack of iframes just don't help. Yeah. I think Shadow Man objectively has the best music in Mega Man, though. I'm not sure I agree with you, but I'm not going to argue. <laughs> Let's just say it's better than all the music that's on this game. Ah, uh, Yaga falls into a pit. Oh no, Yaga, one extra life left. I mean, it could be worse. It's true, it could be worse. Yagamoth into another pit! One extra life, though. Uh, I'm... Just so everybody knows, we generally stick on one person's audio. Simply put, other people may wish to commentate as they are playing the game in their own channel. So, we uh, go ahead and let them just play their own music. Doom Ranger has gotten past the dumb jump that doesn't help because he's blind. There we go, another... Or he doesn't know how to look down, and that's a huge problem. But he's on to level four. Yep. Sloby, first attempt at level three here. He's gonna have a lot of fun. This is not a good stage. No, it really isn't. By the way, you sort of do have triangle jumps in this, don't you? Yeah, sort of. Oh my gosh. This music. I hate it. Like, sped up, it might be decent. The way that it is in Mega Man, but it's... Barely decent now. It, it qualifies as music, you know? I'd say that it's more music than Tasmania Game Gear. But so is me just yelling into the microphone like this. No, I'm not gonna do it. Um, here I thought we were going to get to hear some of that, uh, legendary bro singing. No! Because a lot of stuff isn't music compared to that. My voice is like a billion angels punching you in the face. Yagamoth may be taken to death in just a little bit. Oh, and there we go. Those are boxes. Unfortunately, Yagamoth has zero lives left. He would need to get one more... I don't know, he needs good drops. That's essentially yep. what he needs at this point. That's all, that'll, that's all that'll do. He just needs good drops. Don't die, get good drops. I mean, throw strat there. Dive man, gyro man, flame man. Okay, just so everybody knows, this is the third match of the night. We are half an hour into it, and this is the last match. So, this is your last chance to hear these hopping tunes. <laughs> I hate this. You know what? I got a link with actual Mega Man 2 music. Let me let me open this up and we're gonna compare it, okay? Oh no, Yagamoth. Yagamoth, that's a game over. Yagamoth has a distinct first place, whereas uh, Doom Ranger is definitely in second. And I'm not sure who's gotten further between Burninator and Slowbeef. I'm not 100% sure, either. Okay. Uh, Team Ranger, you have to learn how to roll. Like, it's not the best, this Mega Man 2 music, 
But let's go back to listening to it slowed down. Wow. No, Doom Ranger, don't go back. You just need to roll. Oh, good. Burninator finished that stage, moving on to stage four. Slowbeef is still in the, the last place, but it's still not impossible to finish this stage and change places. Just gotta do... Gotta get through it. Gotta muscle through this stupid stage. And the stupid music in this stage. Now... That's a game over for Burninator. Burninator is still in third place, I believe, if Burninator, if Slowbeef is able to get to the next stage and make a little bit of progress, he could potentially move into third place, maybe even second, depending on how Doom Ranger X is doing, but Doom Ranger is not able to get through this small gap. How do you, how do you turn into a ball? Uh... I think it was down jump. Well, it's his job to figure out the controls. Yep. He just learned how to look down. He'll figure it out, it's fine. It's literally just sliding in Mega Man. Ah, oh, nice, Kadis. Okay, good to know Slow Beef, by the way, is on to stage four as well. I think yep. Slow Beef may move into third place and possibly second, depending on if Do Ranger can figure out how to turn into an orb. Uh, actually, he's already in um, third place. Oh. Burnator is in fourth. He might be able to get to second. That's what I meant. That one. Yep, it's true. Second is like the first third. Yeah. I don't know, math man. You're the math man. You do some math on what I just said and come back to me. Oh my gosh. What a game. Doom Ranger. Still hopping around trying to figure out what to do. Just gotta hold down and push jump. Yeah, Doom Ranger is definitely confused. Yep. Okay, he's currently typing in Discord. Let's see if... I'm willing to say whether or not he's softlocked. If he asks, you can let him know. Yep. Yeah, down doesn't do anything normally, which is just really unhelpful. I mean, why would it? You can soft lock? I don't. Well, it's a bootleg, Mike. You probably can soft lock. Alright, Slow Beef is up to the exact same place as uh, Doom Ranger. But he knows how to roll! And yes. that puts Slow Beef into second. Very nice! Okay, I sent a message to Doom Ranger saying, You are not soft locked. Uh, we know exactly what he needs to do, he just doesn't know himself. Why can't I just crawl? Good question. It's... Yeah, you can roll, you hold down and you push jump. Mike, you didn't figure that out? I mean, I guess I played a lot of Mega Man, and it's Mega Man 3 that introduced the slide. Well, the other thing is that because down normally doesn't do anything, it, uh, you're led to believe non function button. Ah. Uh. So Mike was the guinea pig who tested this, huh? Well, sure. Yeah, I think trying things is the best advice. I'd rather not give any more advice since everybody else has figured out how to get through there. It is Doom Ranger's responsibility to just muscle through and try everything. And like you said, you didn't tell them the controls. Like, all he needs to do is try everything. 
I mean, I told them jump, I told them shoot, I told them there was a way to look down. Oh boy. 36 minutes in. This looks miserably bad. Yeah, this game is definitely not good. At all. Doom Ranger, Doom Ranger there are only eight inputs on a Game Boy. Some combination of them will get you the outcome you need. Yep, I'm... Everybody else has figured it out. I'm not willing to spell it out for one person. Unlike in the first match that we had, where we spelled it out for everybody, because... And it didn't matter. Because they still that, weren't oh. able to do it. <laughs> yeah. Because what a game. Aha, he figured it out. Yeah, there we go. It looks like Slow Beef is on to the boss of the area, by the way, with two yeah. lives. All right. And Doom Ranger gets a game over, that's okay, he's gonna be able to get back into this with the oh. next attempt, I believe, now that he knows. And of course, Doom Ranger's comment in the, uh, Discord is Face Ball. Yeah, and Morph Ball, which... All of the other players know about the Morph Ball, essentially, but... Uh, saying it in a chat, I don't always agree with sharing pieces of information that you learn during a match just because other people can use it sometimes. Well, that is his that is his choice to spoil. It is your prerogative. There can be moments of friendly cooperation. Beef is not in first place. Beef is in second place. Yes. Slow Beef is definitely in second place. Doing pretty good, but depending on how he does, he could even pass Yagamoth. It's true. The uh, option is available. Because uh, it's a leg subwoofer's ice cream. So, uh, Justin just came back in and he changed the headlight uh, for our car, and apparently the casing for the light itself had about or it was about a fourth full of wiper fluid. The heck? Or blinker fluid. Wait, there is no blinker fluid. Water. Or water, or something. Or liquid. There's no blinker fluid. Well, I mean, it is blinker fluid since it's in the blinker, but... That's just pretty impressive. Alright, Bo Beef's got one hit, but he's close. Yeah, and he did, he did that's take a death. Death. Yeah. That's unfortunate. He just needs to get through and hopefully hope for extra lives. This is essentially where Yagamoth got a full game over. Also, Burn Mater is uh, sporting five lives. Very trendy. Wow, that is great. It's definitely what you want early on. Yeah, Slow Beef is passing a lot of enemies, and I'm not sure that's in his best interest. Honestly, I would be trying to get some extra lives. Uh, it's up to the player. Oh yeah, and I got him off back up to stage five. Very nice. Yeah, Yagamoth has just been destroying a lot of this game, like... But then again, he's played Mega Man Bootlegs before, you know? Like, yeah, we shouldn't sure. be too surprised. He did speedruns of Rockman X. Oh, Rockman X. Oh, yeah. Only, only the best, you know? 
only the finest Kuso. Oh yeah. Okay, slow beef is going to the left here. I'm not sure there's anything in this hole. No, there isn't. Why is uh, it I even think there? In the, I think in the original, um, the uh, Rock X, the uh, Rock Hero Three. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think the original Rock Hero Three there was an item in there, but. Hey, that's what happens here. Oh yeah. Slow Beef just really trying to make. Oh, and that is a game over. I think Slow Beef has one more good shot, and then that <laughs> might be it. Ooh, Doom Ranger X just took a death. Burninator and Doom Ranger X have to put in some good attempts in order to pass where Slow Beef got. Appar oh, apparently Yaga did die in essentially the same place. So, quasi a tie between those two. Well, Yaga got there first, and Yaga has two lives to try to get further. Well, I mean, yeah, while that's true, I wonder who made it further horizontally before taking a death strike. I. I think they both got to the exact same place where the mummy decided to go and j jump on them and show why Marioing is the uh, way to go. We do have clips, but we're also willing to do it per pixel. Whoever made it further to the right. But again, we have plenty of time for the rest of the match. I think Yagamoth is going to pass that point in a little bit. I mean, he's, he's almost caught up there. Yep. Thank you, Splice Stream. Come and join as we watch the madness that ensues with bootleg Metal Slug video games. Good stuff. Floor Beef does a restart. I guess not enough lives to uh, make it worth his while. So, I know how I found this game. How did you find this game? Uh, I went to the bootleg game wiki and looked at everything syntax made. Okay. That's fair enough. Figured that was I figured as I needed a whole bunch of uh, backup games just in case. Oh wow, that's a good life drop for Yagamoth. Yeah, that was a very lucky life. I figured as long as I need to go and get some more games, I should go look at uh, the finest quality bootleg. Oh, yeah. Ranger EX is on his uh, last life, so this is going to be rough. Yeah, I... It's not impossible, honestly. Like, the cards could definitely be in his favor, depending on if any extra lives drop. Yep. But yeah, I would not be skipping any enemies right now. Take it slow, make sure you kill them, make sure you get lives. I also would not be damage boosting through them. Also, Yagamoth is on to the next area here. He's definitely in the lead, a slow beef in second place. Oh, Doom Ranger, no! Finished off by a mummy. Those mummies, those jerks. Yep, just can't trust. Mummies are the worst, okay? You ever meet a mummy that's like, hey, wanna be your friend? Don't do it. Call the Thank police! You. Because Thank first you, off, the mummy's dead. And you don't want dead friends. Wait, that sounds really sad. A lot sadder than I expected. You don't- Bro? No, just 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 no. We don't need we don't need to go that dark. This game does not deserve that dark. No, it doesn't. It deserves I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I'm just confused why you would take something that's an IP like Mega Man and turn it into some this. I don't know. I mean yeah, as long as you're bootlegging, you might as well bootleg in a bunch of other amazing ways. It's true. But it's like... I don't know, the company turned Spider-Man... Or it turned a game into Spider-Man. It's turned games 
into Mega Man before. It just feels like this should be going the other way, taking a Metal Slug game and turning it into Mega Man. But you know, maybe Metal Slug was popular over there in bootleg land. Maybe. Yagamoth, by the way, is almost at full health. And I think he's probably going to see a boss again in the near future. Oh, definitely. Okay, let's see if he can kill the opposite vacuum. Call it opposite vacuum because instead of sucking something in, it spits it out. Most guns are opposite vacuums, okay? And very powerful ones as well. Do I want to ask which guns aren't opposite vacuums? Uh, that one gun on Half-Life 2. But it also is an opposite vacuum, it just has vacuum-like proper properties as well. You know, it's just kind of both. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, okay. Like, I'm getting tired of this music. I'm getting tired of these jumping metal mechanical spiders that are just trying to kill Burninator. And I'm tired of uh, there not being robot masters. Where are the robot masters? This is a metal slug. Why would there be robot masters? Okay, where are the big machines? Another yeah. life for Yagamoth. Come on, game. Wow, Yagamoth definitely has the... I don't know, the luck. Really does. Unfortunately, is Yagamoth unable to go anywhere over there? I think so. He's gonna be descending and going up the next set of ladders. I don't know if anybody has the chance to catch up Yagamoth at this point. But it was, you, you gotta try. Yeah, it's worth, it's worth trying, and I mean, if all the other places are very closely uh, contested, so... Definitely worth uh, trying to get there. Oh my gosh. Slow Beef is kind of bugging, though, which is good. Exactly what he needs to do. Go fast and not die. It's true. Luckily, I think he figured out a lot of these troll pits. And there we go, Slow Beef onto the same level as Burninator. Burninator, though, zero lives and Slow Beef is at four. I think Slow Beef's going to make it to level five again. I think so. And time for another boss for uh, Yaga. Nice. What oh, is hey, this? It's, it's uh, Mars People. It's the little alien creatures from uh, Metal Slug. Ah. Okay. Yeah, this is not Quick Man. Ah, so close, Yaga. So close. And now he has to redo the entire level. Hey, Burninator has an extra life, which oh, is good right. because he does not have much health. No, he really does not. That mummy pretty much tore through all of his life. But mummy. Oh, and it turns out that enemy shoots projectiles at two different distances. Well, good thing Burninator had that extra life. Yep. No, Rigman did not cling to walls. Who is winning? Yagamoth is currently in the lead, and I don't think anybody's gonna pass him. Slow Beef is in second. He's managed to get to the level after this. I believe it's level 5. Yagamoth's on 6. Everybody, Burninator, Slow Beef, and Doom Ranger are all fighting through at level 4 at this point to try to make more progress from what they had before. But we only have nine minutes left. Boop, boop, 
Honestly, with this kind of luck, Yagamoth's probably can just keep on attempting this level. Yeah. At the same time, your luck oftentimes runs out. Luck isn't oh. enough to power through these stages, you know? Eventually you're just going to die. Look at this health going in to uh, the weird squid boss. Yeah, that's, that's really not enough health. Alright, thank you. For, so everyone's just on stage four. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, this is really the last push. I'm not sure if anybody games over, uh, they could get back to where they are. And Doom Ranger X, right as I said that, oh. takes the game over. Yeah, I, I think that's it for Doom Ranger. I'd say jump back into it, give it another shot. Honestly, the levels are not super long, it's just they're a bit challenging, and you have to avoid taking any damage. I'd say he has a chance, but it's a slim chance. Uh, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. It's doable, but it's gonna be a uh, real fight. Stranger things have happened. Burtonator... Oh, that's unfortunate. If Burnator had gone in gun blazing, that chain gun would have destroyed the boss. Oh, yeah. But you know what? It happens. Sometimes you just try to be a little bit more reserved than you should be. Slow beef going after the mummy here. The mummy is down. That was a mummy that gave both Yagamoth and Slow Beef a game over. No, that's, the, this is, that, that's level 5. This is still oh, level Oh yeah, four. you're right. Never mind, I lied. Everybody, I'm a big fat liar. There's another extra life for Burdenator. Burdenator just needs to keep pushing. He knows that he's gotten to this level but hasn't made any progress past that. Am I lying right now? Uh, I don't know, am uh, I? And Yagamoth is soup No! Yagamoth loses on the uh, last hit. Wow, yet another extra life for Burn Maker. Facing uh, the mummy. Poor Slow Beef. Was facing off against the boss, but got plain. Uh, it happens. Burninator is at very little health, and I believe this is starting to get pretty close to the boss. Yep. No! Burninator didn't realize that. The shot distance had two different distances. Those enemies shoot close to them and then farther away, so you just gotta keep that in mind when you're dodging the projectiles. Now, Slow Beef has made it to stage 5. Burninator has not, if I'm not mistaken. I can't recall. No, no he's not. Uh, neither Burninator nor Doom Ranger have made it to stage 5. I don't know who did more damage to the boss between Burnator and Doom Ranger, but uh, that really is, I think, the deciding factor on who's in third. I think you're probably right, yeah. Yagamoth is definitely in first, though, and he's back to this boss with a good amount of health. And well, he picks up yet another extra life. You know, it's just Yagamoth things. He's just... Yagamoth just going Yagamoth. Yagamoth, don't die! Don't die! Oh my gosh! No! Oh! Right at the end! Ah! Again! The boss is wrecking havoc. Wow. Katarani, I believe that is the case, yes. Yeah, 
Yarmouth is definitely being greedy at this point. There are definitely certain ways he could have been safer about it. Also, you can damage bosses even if they're not on screen. You can still shoot them, so... Uh, honestly, I think just trying to get up in the boss's grill is what ended up causing that death. Burn Eater picks up another extra life. So, Burn Eater's got all of the remaining three and a half minutes to try to beat the boss. But two slivers of health. I'm very concerned. If he doesn't get a I health am. pick up, I, I don't see him beating the boss. I do not either. But luckily, the- Oh no! Perninator, no! Okay, last chance is what I would say. Yeah, I think that's it. Also, oh, hello, gosh. Alice. Uh, agreed. Most people did win tonight's match. What is it with today and us having Mars, by the way? That's, this is the second game that uh, emphasizes Mars. Wait, this game has Mars? The, the, the alien boss is named Mars People. Oh. Okay, well, I didn't... I guess I just didn't realize that. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the observation, Joey Gator. Looks like, um... Uh, looks like if you double KO, you get the, uh, do you get the, uh, health refill, so... Oh, you do? Yep, so double KO is in favor of the player. Yagamoth beat the boss this time! Nice! Alright, good job, Yagamoth. Yeah. Uh, I believe this is the... Uh, this is stage 7, so he's almost at the end of the game. Slow Beast has made it to stage 5. I think Burninator is really the one to watch, otherwise we'll have to go check out the VODs and see between Burninator and Doom Ranger, who takes third and fourth. But Burninator could potentially lock in a lead, depending on how he does against the boss coming up. Doom Ranger X is actually really close as well, though. Yep. Oh no! Doom Ranger! Oh! You have three bars of health, are you going to be able to hurt the boss a little bit? Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's a death! Was that too greedy? It might have been. I think it was. I think it was just too greedy. There's an extra life for Burninator, but health definitely would have helped. Last minute. Oh, and the boss just popped in. I don't think there's any chance at this point. Let's see how Slow Beef does in this level, but the places are pretty much locked. We'll have to review. I'm not sure about Burninator or Doom Ranger, but we'll have to see who dealt more damage to the boss. Oh, and that's Slow Beef game overing, so that uh, is a definite lock. There's no chance of uh, any play shift. I'm gonna let the last 20 minutes play out, and we will call 20 it... 20 seconds, bro. We can 20 do 20 more minutes. It's fine. Please. Please, do you really want to listen to this for 20 more minutes? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm gonna stop the audio right now. <laughs> wow. And what? that's time. Fantastic match. Absolute blast. That is time. We are done with Metal Slug X. Oh my gosh, or we, well, may have Metal Slug X. We could potentially add on another 20 minutes if y'all want it. No, that's a lie. We're done. That was still really good. Yagamoth took first, Slow Beef second, Burninator third, and Doom Ranger fourth, according to what we have here. Uh, uh, according to our referees, fantastic job. If Yaga wants to join voice, he is welcome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what are your thoughts about how the match went, Wizard? Uh, I... I'm very impressed with our players. I did not ex uh, I did not expect a breakaway by any of them, but, uh, the rallying by... Um, 
the rallying by each of the other players was fun to watch, and it definitely made it so that the race wasn't just a foregone conclusion. Oh, for sure. And I see Yagamoth hopping in. Yagamoth, how are you? Hello, I'm doing quite fine. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. good. We had a blast watching this game. And uh, yeah, congrats on taking the victory here. What are your thoughts about the game? Thank you. Um, yeah, kind of like it was actually mentioned in the previous race. I actually haven't played that many bad games in Kuzak Ronda. This one is on the fringe, I would say. It's just, I don't know. If the jumping was better, I think yeah, this would be actually rather possible. Yeah, it was possible. a little bit of a bootleg triangle jump is what I'd call it. A bootleg triangle jump. Yeah. Interesting. To uh, syntax has a very distinct feel when it comes to their uh, to their jumping mechanics, and I, this one, this game definitely has it. I haven't even played it, but I can see it. Yeah, it's like it's not like it's not responsive, but I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's not particularly difficult. Like the jumps are really lenient. But then again, you need to just really deliberately press the jump button in order to actually jump. Oh yeah. It's it's odd that games are sometimes just like that, that you you have to commit fully before you can actually do it. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying here. Uh, is there anything redeemable here, or should people just go and play other Mega Man slash Metal Slug bootlegs? <laughs> um... I mean, the music wasn't that bad. It felt like the music could be good if it just wasn't Game Boy Color hardware, basically. Yeah, and it was all ripped off of Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. It's just somehow they made it worse. I see. I did not realize that. I've heard uh, music from Mega Man 2 from the Game Boy. That was actually really awesome. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I thought that a lot of it was or all of it was from Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy, it's just messed up. <laughs> Alright, I've never played that. Interesting. Well, now you can go back and revisit all your favorite jams. <laughs> well, cool, so. anything else uh, you want to plug or anything else going on that you want to say before we take off? Uh, first of all, thank you so much for organizing this. It's really awesome to just participate. And thank you very much to my component. Component. Yeah. Rivals. People racing against me. I really appreciate you being there too, and I wish you all better luck next time. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you, Wizard, for choosing this game. Uh, it was definitely bootleg, and I had a blast with it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Yeah, you too. We're going to go ahead and do a raid of Makai. He's playing Stallone Snipes Demolition Man. Uh, this is definitely not a good game. So let's go raid. Do we have a good raid message? I'm trying to think. None of our games had any dialogue. Oh, I mean, you could shout something in Portuguese. E communism. <laughs> Let's do eat communism. He'll like that. Let's go yell All eat right. communism. Let's go with eat communism. Okay. <laughs> and I'll see you all later on. Uh, probably Saturday because we've got matches Saturday and Sunday. Ciao.